Ciao, fellow wanderers. Today, we're unlocking the secrets of Rome, Italy. Forget what you think you know because we're diving deep into the most amazing top 10 reasons why Rome is so much more than the typical tourist hotspots. Rome, the eternal city, has a lot more to offer than meets the eye. In the next few minutes, we're exploring the hidden gems and authentic experiences that make Rome a must-visit destination. Make sure you use these travel tips which are taken from travel trends while walking the streets of Rome. So, let's jump right in. Trastevere's Bohemian Charm Start your journey in Trastevere, a district brimming with Bohemian charm. Its narrow cobblestone streets are lined with local boutiques, art studios, and family-run trattorias, serving up the true taste of Roman cuisine. Rome's stunning mix of ancient ruins, ornate churches, and unalterable atmosphere are recognizable to even those who have never been there. But once you've experienced the gargantuan Colosseum, the evocative ruins of the Forum, the allure of the Spanish steppes, and the exceptional beauty of the Vatican and St. Peter's impossible dome, there's a whole other world to explore. But let's start with a short walk from Centro Storico. Whether you're seeking local flavor in buzzy trattorias, under the radar sites, cocktail bars, or green spaces, consider this your guide to Trastevere, Rome's trendiest neighborhood. Walking to Trastevere from many of Rome's major sites is simple enough, even for Rome first-timers. It's a 20-minute stroll south of Vatican City and a scenic, history-filled skip through classical Rome and across the Tiber River from the Colosseum. You can also reach Trastevere by tram, the number 8 from Piazza Venezia, or the H-Bus from the Termini Railway Station, although it's arguably better to stay within the leafy ambience of Trastevere, in a chic design-led hotel or a homely B&B &B with inspiring Tiber views. Aventine Keyhole, a secret vista. Ever peered through a keyhole to another world? The Aventine Keyhole offers just that, an unmissable view of St. Peter's Basilica perfectly framed by a garden hedge. It's Rome's best-kept secret. The Aventine Keyhole is on the top of the Aventine Hill, one of the seven ancient hills of Rome, the keyhole is in the door of the Institute of the Knights of Malta, and its official address is Piazza dei Cavalieri di Malta, 300153 Rome. The Aventine Keyhole is one of the most peculiar attractions in Rome. As the name suggests, it is a keyhole, an aperture in a door through which you can peek, however, it is a very special one indeed. As you put your eye to it, you will see an unobstructed view of St. Peter's Dome, perfectly framed by the round edges of the keyhole itself and beautifully manicured hedges of a secret garden. Culinary Adventures in Testaccio The Testaccio Food and Market Tour offers guests a comprehensive exploration of Rome's culinary scene and the vibrant Testaccio neighborhood. This tour is a delightful opportunity to indulge in the culinary delights of Rome while immersing oneself in the local culture. Guests can expect to explore the historical Testaccio neighborhood known as the birthplace of Roman cuisine, and visit local shops and eateries, such as the Barberini Pastry Shop. The tour also includes a visit to a food market where guests can chat with local vendors and sample authentic buffalo mozzarella and make their own bruschetta. Plus, guests will have the chance to savor local specialties like supply, fresh pasta, and wine. This neighborhood exploration provides a unique and immersive experience, allowing visitors to truly appreciate the rich culinary heritage of Rome. Step into Testaccio, the foodie haven of Rome. Experience a culinary journey through the local markets and trattorias, where the flavors of Roman cuisine truly come to life. Villa Borghese Gardens, serenity amidst history. Escape the hustle and bustle at Villa Borghese Gardens. These lush, expansive gardens offer a serene retreat, where you can stroll amidst art, sculptures, and the beauty of nature. Villa Borghese is a landscape garden in Rome, containing a number of buildings, museums, and attractions. It is the third largest public park in Rome, after the ones of the Villa Doria Pamphili and Villa Ada. Ostia Antica, ancient port city, venture beyond the city limits to Ostia Antica, an incredibly preserved ancient Roman port city. Explore the well-preserved ruins and get a glimpse into daily life during the Roman Empire. Ostia Antica was an ancient Roman city and the port of Rome located at the mouth of the Tiber. It is near modern Ostia, 25 kilometers southwest of Rome. 
Local markets, Campo de Fiori. Campo de Fiori isn't just a market, it's a sensory feast. Immerse yourself in the vibrant atmosphere as locals and visitors alike gather for fresh produce, flowers, and authentic Italian products. Campo de Fiori Market is one of the oldest markets in Rome. Since 1869, people coming from the Roman countryside used to go to this market to sell their products such as herbs and vegetables. The name Fiori means flowers in English, originates from the daisies, poppies, and other wildflowers that once graced the square, which is overlooked by noble palaces belonging to the prestigious Orsini family. Janiculum Hill, Panoramic City Views. For the best panoramic views of Rome, head to Janiculum Hill. It's a tranquil escape with breathtaking vistas of the cityscape, providing a different perspective of Rome's timeless beauty. Janiculum Hill, considered by many as the eighth hill of Rome, is a peaceful and refreshing attraction close to the city center. As you walk up its pathways, you'll enjoy superb views of the city. Janiculum became very popular due to the important historical role that it played in the defense of the city. Roman street art, modern expressions, discover the vibrant street art scene in Rome's neighborhoods. From colorful murals to thought-provoking graffiti, the city streets become an open-air gallery showcasing modern expressions. Roman street art is achieving international and global acclaim through its contemporary murals. Talent from all over the world continues to flock to its urban landscapes. The Mouth of Truth, a mythical test, challenge fate at the Boca della Verita, the mouth of truth. According to legend, sticking your hand in its mouth reveals honesty. It's a quirky and ancient tradition that adds a touch of mystery to your visit. The huge legendary sculpture has a diameter of 1.75 meters and is dedicated to the god of the sea, represented by a male bearded face with holes for the eyes, nose, and mouth. A husband who mistrusted his wife took her to the mouth of truth to test her faithfulness. The woman reacted by pretending to swoon and her lover caught her in his arms. After this, the woman swore before the mouth of truth that she had only been in the arms of her husband and of the man that had just caught her. This is just one of the many legends that exist regarding the famous sculpture that, with the passing of time, continues to generate enormous anticipation. Appian Way, Ancient Roman Roadway. Appian Way, the first and most famous of the ancient Roman roads, running from Rome to Campania and southern Italy. The Appian Way was begun in 312 BC by the censor Appius Claudius Cicus. At first it ran only 132 miles from Rome south-southeastward to ancient Capua, in Campania. But by about 244 BC it had been extended another 230 miles southeastward to reach the port of Brundisium, situated in the heel of Italy and lying along the Adriatic Sea. End your Roman adventure with a stroll along the Appian Way, one of the earliest and most strategic Roman roads. This historic path is lined with ancient tombs and catacombs, offering a glimpse into Rome's rich past. And there you have it, Rome, beyond the tourist traps. So when you plan your trip to this magnificent city, make sure to dive into these unique experiences that capture the true essence of the eternal city. These are the things to do in Rome, Arrivederci, explorers.